Hi, I'm Glenn Reid, the founder of Futura Trailers, and I'm going to demonstrate the tie-down system to you. When you first receive them, they'll be bundled in a box and they'll require some assembly. So our tie-downs aren't just regular tie-downs. They, they come with a tie strap, which could be any of these three. So we're gonna use the Futura one today. They're all the same, just different branding. So we'll start by adding the tie-down strap and creating a loop. So that's the loop that you'll lasso the top of the tyre with. So once the car's positioned on the trailer, you will start with one hook close to the wheel. Now you can either hook it into the slot there or on, if you have the airline track on your trailer, you can use the clips and hook it in there, but we find it fast and easy just to use the hole that's provided. I'm just gonna lay the strap over the tire for now and we'll position it shortly, but there's a lot of clearance on this car because it's a road car, but it could be a race car and you may only have half an inch or less. But you can still shimmy that over without having to reach in there like that and slip it down over the back of the wheel. So I've dropped it over the back. I can just see it above the brake rotor, which is around about where you want it. Um, you definitely need to be able to see that strap through your wheel so that you know that it's down far enough and unable to fall off the top of the tire. So that's very important. The next important thing is that you keep this tie strap below the center line of the wheel. Now if it's up here somewhere, it can just pull off. If you've got it down here, it's perfect. So it's roughly positioned where I want it. I'm going to add a floating hook. So we have a hook which could either go in here or I'm going to use the airline track fitting because um, this is a super sport trailer and it has airline track on it. So I'm going to position that around about there, just in front of the tire. And the beauty of the hook being positioned away from the ratchet is we can create this 45 degree X shape and position the tie downs in the best way to suit the wheel. So next we attach the tie down to the ratchet end. Now the beauty of this floating hook that we've just used means the ratchet can be away from the vehicle. So I apply some light pressure so the tie down holds a shape. So now we want to be fussy and get this centralised and down below the centre of the wheel in a nice X shape. So I don't have much pressure on, I'm able to rotate it around if necessary. Now I want to point out uh, the direction which that is heading off on. So it's going up across the tyre and continuing on a bit of an angle up to the strap across the back. Now if that happened to be up here and going flat, which can often happen when you're tying down on a hot tyre, might get a little bit sticky, you want to rotate that around so it hasn't got the opportunity to move while you're travelling. So that's quite an important um, little thing that you do. So we're going to make sure that this tie down tracks the shortest route possible up on an angle continuing across to the top of the tyre. Now that ensures that it doesn't move when you're travelling. Now if you're travelling with it like that, it's likely to slip down and the tie downs loosen off and you'll have to continue checking them and tightening them. If you get it correct first time, these will not let go. So that's tied. Um, shape's pretty good. It has actually come forward a little bit. So if I'm going to be super fussy, I will correct that. So I think the benefit in doing that and getting it nice and symmetrical is they 
they won't loosen off while you're traveling. So I recently did a, about a thousand miles with a race car and uh, when I got there I checked them and they, didn't, they didn't, didn't even get one click out of it, which is just a testament that it can hold the car beautifully if you tie them down right. That's it. I just want to demonstrate how I've flipped the tie downs around so the ratchet is now positioned behind the tire and I just did that by positioning the front hook there, carrying out the same procedure, floating hook down here on the airline track or in this compatible slot and then the ratchet end is hooked on just behind the fender. Now I want to point out with the Futura tie downs they have a sized hook that suits this chassis rail shape and doesn't interfere with the fender. Some tie downs, if you're not using the Futura ones, they have a larger hook and you won't be able to position it here or here. You'd need to go to the next available hole out in the open. That's it.